So here's how the reporting tool is meant to work. So I'll select a bunch of stuff, and then we'll tell it we want to label the stuff, and we'll name the dictionary Trump, but it can be whatever you want. And then it asks you to pick from the file, and this is where our report file will work, but right now I just have the headers. So we'll use just the headers. It builds the form, and then you fill it out per part. It tells what the part is, and you can fill in all this information for every single thing. So I'll just sit here and hit OK through a bunch of them. And then once it's once it's finished, oops, it's saving it, then we can run a report on it. And we'll report it for Trump because it's added that to the list. And this now will show us a report on this stuff, but it'll have all the costs and everything in it that were in that spreadsheet. So it'll summarize the thing, only the things that are in that list. It'll summarize them, all the pricing, all the pages and stuff that you put in there for it. So that's how it's designed and what it's geared to do. Or you can use the mass attributes labeler. And it asks you whether you want to label them in the file and you pick a file that's already filled out, a CSV file that's already got pricing and naming and everything filled out. Then you assign it to a library Trump, and then it labels all the things that match within the model that match entries in the CSV file. And then when you run a report, you tell it you want to do it on that Trump library, and it counts all those attributes and summarizes that into a report file. So that's a quicker way to do multiple items that you already know what their costs and SKU numbers are.